Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to No One Films. Today we'll be continuing our iMovie tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to be covering precision clip trimmer. And why I call it that, I have like three words that it really doesn't make much sense. But I'm covering uh, the precision um, editor and also the clip trimmer and how to basically, how you can basically easily trim and edit your clips so that you can zoom in and view the entire clip. Now for this to show you this, first I'm going to open, okay, I opened up iMovie and I'm going to drag a clip into my project which is in my events iMovie tutorials and then we have our project iMovie tutorials. I opened the project and now we're in the project menu here and uh, it's a simple 38 second clip and you can see I'm actually going to mute it so it doesn't annoy us um, but this is the the entire clip and it seems a bit small so we want to change the size of it that way we can actually see it already and you by, by the, the way you want to do this is you're going to go up here to this little adjustment bar and you can see as more the more you change it the longer the, the longer entire the 30 seconds seems it's getting so if you could put it all the way really extremely like uh, large and then you can see it looks like it no longer looks like a 38 second clip but it still is it's still a 38 second clip it's just each section here is broken down into uh, let me see here 0.5 seconds which is <laughs> quite a bit so I'm actually gonna go back down because and then you see you can get as low as that and then that's really hard to edit especially if you want to do something like if you're doing something on beat that might be a little hard to uh, determine that so I'm gonna go just a little bit extra that, that way I can see the entire clip just a little bit and then now we can actually edit and then add audio and then put it to like let's say I clap make the audio snap to that clap which is a really really cool feature it's well it's not really a cool feature it's just something that makes it easier for you to edit if you're trying to make it precise um, here and then also if you go to you right click the clip you suck the clip right click the clip you go you can go to show clip trimmer this is also another way to adjust the clip and uh, it basically gives you millisecond by millisecond of the clip and like let's say you wanna you wanna instead of having this entire clip you wanna take off just a little bit of the beginning and that you can do that through here and you can also hit the space button to play it and see make sure you've taken off the right part and once you've choose, chosen what part you want to take off at the beginning or at the end here and just hit close tr clip trimmer and it'll take that part off for you and then also um, you as you have this here you can also adjust the size of the clip you can see it's a lot larger I prefer the smallest because really I I have no difficulty of viewing my clip so and you also I I keep wave formats because it makes it easier for me to change my audio from there as well and now the same thing you can do down here as well let's say you are having a hard time seeing your main uh, events the footage you uploaded and it's like really small you can also adjust it up here make the clip size and then the zoom and it's actually this one actually tells you how many shit is how much it is i like to keep it at 10 seconds but you can go all the way to basically all or uh, one half of a second which is almost uh, ridiculous to me but 10 seconds just good I can see what I all have in my um, events library right here so the last thing was the precision if you go to these one of these bars um, it'll, they, it'll be in between each one of your clips you can actually double click that bar and it'll take you to the precision editor which where you can basically it's not you can't do much I, I honestly I find myself hardly ever using this because I do it all through zooming in and zooming out and doing it all by myself but you can also um if you hit one of these dots i'm actually going to make my clip smaller you hit one of these dots here um it will actually change you to this little adjuster and you can actually mute an entire section of the audio you see right here i'm muting, muting the audio but since my audio is really low i'm gonna bring up my audio here and i'll play this clip real quick for you guys and uh, now i'm gonna bring this mute all the way over here and you'll see the audio will just cut out well, no, I haven't implied, um, applied it yet, so I'm going to close Precision Editor, now it'll, the audio will be muted. Now you see the audio is just completely muted at that point. And that, I guess that's, yeah, I guess you might find a way to use that, but I currently do not use that very often. But uh, the main feature in this tutorial is that you can actually zoom in and zoom out. That's the best, best thing. You should know that, how to use that. That way you can simply edit and uh, sync or snap to beat type of editing. Thank you guys for watching. That's it for this tutorial. Be sure to leave any comments in the sec comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as possible or make a video. You
tutorial response. Later. Let my life be the proof, the proof of you.